Welcome back to MotoGP Mac and in today's episode we're going to talk about the Mandalinka Grand Prix that is going to happen this weekend. But before we get into that, just want to say happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone and I hope you have a good and safe one today. Now, the Grand Prix itself or the weekend itself, I suppose. Firstly, here is the schedule of events over the weekend. So, here is Friday's uh, race schedule and then Saturday's schedule and then Sunday schedule. And as you can see, it's on pretty early every day. So I will try and get you the race reports, qualifying reports, etc., as soon as possible. Might not be possible during the middle of the night. Let's wait and see. So what do I expect to see from the Mandalinka Grand Prix? Well, you know, when they went there and testing, the track was really bad. It was really dirty and in a really poor condition, if I'm very much so honest. Um, so they have deep cleaned the circuit and they've spent a lot of money on getting areas of the track resurfaced in time for the race. So I don't think we will see the bad conditions that we saw there during the testing. Um, I was watching the World Superbikes race that was on there and I'm really excited to see a full Dorna production on this weekend just to see how the track is going to look and feel and throw obviously the speed and the power of MotoGP bikes going around it. For the bikes and riders, you know, the Hondas, in my view, are probably looking strongest here, but saying that the track is going to be a different evolution because they are going to be using different tires than what they were using on the test. So I think it'll definitely be interesting to see um, how the Hondas fare. Yamaha were also good here on the test, um, now Quattararo is not as confident or not as bullish as in it, but saying that they were good. Um, the Ducatis, in my view, Joe Pecco and uh, Miller, they do have a point to prove this weekend, um, and they need need to badly get some points on the the board. So I definitely think you know they're going to be out there trying to push as hard as they can to probably take victory. So if I was to put my money where my mouth is for the weekend. I am kind of leaning actually on Pecco um, or Powell to to do some damage this weekend uh, and win the race. But look, let's wait and see. If I was going to pick a rookie um, this weekend, I'm actually going to go with Marco Pasecki uh, to actually finish as top rookie. Um, so yeah, so listen, look, I can't wait for the racing to kick off on uh, Friday. Uh, tomorrow um, but you know we also have the fantasy league so I have instructions below if you want to join the fantasy league and try and win the bragging rights of who was right and who was wrong and um, the link is below it's free to sign up so let's sign up have a bit of crack and uh, I will see you in tomorrow's video with the report on FP1 and FP2 until then speak soon I just want to take a minute to also thank you for watching my videos and the support that you've shown so far. If you haven't subscribed already and you would like to subscribe, it would mean an awful lot to me if you did. I'm starting this channel realistically so that we can all enjoy MotoGP together with the aim of streaming a live video when the GP races are on.